So almost every day I have avocado, at least in some sort of fashion. Sometimes I'll just take like a piece of like whole wheat bread, toast it, and then take half an avocado, smear it on top, throw like some everything bagel seasoning on it. That can be like an, an easy breakfast or it can be like the side to a soup that I made. Sometimes I'll just like chop it up, put it next to like some rice and beans. And then other times I just put it in my smoothie. Um, in this module, I wanted to show you how to make a nice guacamole, like a quick one that, um, that'll last you a couple days. So I, got, I, I already got a couple avocados here, but it's pretty simple. If you've never dealt with them before, you just slice them in half, you pull the pit out, and then you just take a, a spoon and then that's it. We're going to do three for this. So I also cut up about a quarter cup of an onion beforehand. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to throw it in a, a little jar or a little bowl with some warm water. And this tends to tone down the intense flavor of raw onion so that your guac isn't like overpowered by it. And then what you want to do is you want to take like a, about a tablespoon and a half of lime juice and throw that into the, into the avocado bowl. Now, if this is hardened, you can just simply roll it out until it becomes softened and that'll help release the juices easier when you squeeze it. Now, the, uh, a normal guacamole has uh, tomato to it, like aroma tomato, but I didn't have one, so I'm just going to do this. It's just the reason why I like this is it's just fast. It's fast and it's and it's super good, really easy snack. There's no guilt involved to it. it has all the good fats from the avocados. It has fiber in it. Avocado also has potassium. In case you're not a fan of bananas, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dice up this cilantro. Toss that in there. And then the only spices it really needs are half a teaspoon of cumin and then half a teaspoon of just salt. Toss it in. And when you put this in the fridge, in order to prevent it from going brown, you can put like a little water layer on top and that, that should help. You can also squeeze lime on top of it and that'll prevent it from going brown quickly, but you do have to cover it up. That's the most important thing. Don't just leave it out in the open in the fridge. So I have all the ingredients in and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spoon out these onions. And I would have left these onions in for probably a couple minutes. You want to do this in the beginning before you even cut the avocados. And then from here, all you're going to do is just take a fork, mash the consistency that you want, and you're good. And it's like a super easy way of making good guacamole.